Mom and Dad books in Nadia's Nook. Today, we're reading My Dad is Always Working by Hafsa Dabiri. This book is all about a little boy and how his dad is always working. Do your parents work a lot? Well, my dad is always working. Come on, join me in your jammies and grab your favorite cuddly friend because it's time for... Ramadan books, Ramadan books, Ramadan books in Nadia's nook. Welcome back to my nook, everyone. Are you guys all comfy in your jammies? Great, me too. Who's ready to read? Bismillah, let's begin. My Dad is Always Working by Hafsa Dabiri. Wake up, Abdullah, Mum said. It's time for class. Abdullah moaned and peeked his head out from under his duvet. Already? Abdullah complained as he rolled out of bed and gave his mum a hug. His clothes were laid out at the end of his bed, ready for him to take a shower and put on. As he rushed downstairs for breakfast, his dad whizzed past him with some black smudges on his shirt, looking extremely tired. Abdullah knew that when his dad was rushing around that fast, on a Sunday morning, he was going to work, and he was late. Abdullah sighed and shouted, "Assalamu alaikum, Daddy, as his dad opened the door to leave the house. Walaikum assalam, Dad called back out of breath. I'll come and pick you up from your classes today, inshallah. Okay, see you. C Click. He heard the front door snap shut before he even finished his sentence. Abdullah frowned in thought. Dad is always working. He made his way to the kitchen to have breakfast. His mom had made him his favorite chocolate and strawberry pancakes for breakfast. A small smile appeared on Abdullah's face, and he quickly stuffed his mouth with the delicious, warm, fluffy goodness. Mum saw that Abdullah was feeling a bit down. You can ride your bike to class today with Halid if you like, she suggested. Abdullah's smile widened, just as his mum thought it would, and he ran out of the house and grabbed his bike. He was pulling the door closed when he heard his mom shout, don't forget your football boots for break time, Abdullah. Assalamu alaikum, children, said Maulima Latifa. We have a fun lesson planned for today. Let's talk about saying thank you. The students smiled excitedly as they all sat down, ready for the class to begin. Does anyone know how we thank people in Islam? asked Maulima Latifa. I do said Mariam. We say Jazakallah Khair. Yes, that's right. Well done, Mariam. Maulima Latifa smiled. And this means may God reward you with goodness. At the end of class, she said, today, instead of doing some writing for homework, I want you to make your very own cards. So think about it carefully and make a Jazakallah Khair card for the person who you think deserves your thanks and gratitude. Mariam turned with a smile and whispered to Abdullah, I'm going to make a card for my mom, of course. At home time, Abdullah stood in the playground, waiting eagerly for his dad to get there so he could talk to him about the project. Abdullah! He heard his name and turned to see his mom in the car park. Abdullah's heart sank as he walked slowly to his mum and thought, Dad is always working. Abdullah and his mum sat down to have dinner. He told his mum all about saying Jazakallah Khair and the homework that his malima had given him to do. I think I'll make a Jazakallah Khair card for you, mum, Abdullah said. You woke me up in the morning and made me a delicious pancakes and even picked me up from Arabic class. You deserve all my gratitude. Abdullah's mom smiled and hugged him. But what about your dad? 
she asked. Can you think of anything that he did for you this morning? Abdullah shrugged his shoulders and said, Dad is always working. Hmm, that's true, responded Mum. But this morning, did you notice that your clothes were already laid out nice and neatly, your bike was fixed, and even your football boots were super clean? Abdullah's mind raced back to breakfast time when he saw his dad with muddy marks on his shirt before he rushed out of the door. Did dad do all of that? Abdullah whispered. Abdullah's mom nodded. For me? Abdullah's mom smiled and nodded once more. There are a lot of things that you may not see that your father does for you because he loves you, said mom. Abdullah realized that his dad must have been late because he had spent his morning ironing, fixing, and even cleaning. He ran to his room, got out his coloring pens, and got to work to make his dad the most amazing Jazak Allah card ever. As he worked, he thought about how his dad has to work hard to make sure that he and his mom could live in their beautiful house and eat all the tasty food in the kitchen. Once he had finished, Abdullah tiptoed into his dad's room and placed the card in his jacket pocket. The next morning, Abdullah's dad was sitting at his desk, typing away frantically at his computer. He felt a piece of card in his pocket and pulled it out. It was covered in his favorite teal color with a picture of a little boy a bike, a pair of football boots, and the biggest stack of pancakes ever. Jazakallah khair. May Allah reward you with goodness and lots of pancakes for all the things that you do for me that I see and that I do not see. I am very thankful, and I know that even when you are working, it is because you love me. From your son, Abdullah. Abdullah and his mum arrived home in the evening after football. As soon as they opened the front door, they smelled something burning coming from the kitchen. They ran into the kitchen to see what on earth was going on. Abdullah's dad was standing in the middle of the kitchen, sweating, covered in flour, and holding a stack of very burnt pancakes. Dad, are you okay? said Abdullah as he and his mom struggled to hold back their laughter. Dinner is served, Abdullah's dad announced, importantly as he wiped some flour off his face. After a rather crunchy meal, they all began cleaning up the kitchen. Abdullah thought to himself, Dad is always working for me. Wasn't that great how Abdullah was able to see that his dad worked so hard for him? I think so too. Remember, our parents work a lot so they can take care of us because they love us. So give your parents an extra good night hug tonight. And inshallah, I can't wait to see you all tomorrow night when we read another book in my nook. Until then, good night and sweet dreams.